my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, just a few words to remind you at the uh, Archbishop to with his advisor and working with the local government, we are able to uh, reopen our church beginning uh, this Saturday evening, uh, May the 9th, and uh, continue on. <clears throat> Even though we are opening our church but we are very limited to allow people to come into our church. And I asked uh, to the, uh, we at priest, at, at pastor, we have followed the guidance of the Archdiocese of Denver and also the local government. We ask you those who are sick, it doesn't matter what happened to you. I mean, from virus, from cold, from headache, anything has happened to you or even your immune system is weak, we ask you to remain at home. You are dispensed from coming to a uh, Sunday masses. Uh, and we, at 4 p.m. mass, we do the live stream. And then after that, we will upload it into our website so that you are able to uh, watch the match uh, online. And those who come to mask, you are required to bring the, the face mask with you. And you need to wear your face mask the entire mask, uh, according to the guideline from the Archdiocese of Denver. The only exception is when you receive the body of Christ. After that, you lift up your face mask up and receive the body of Christ. And then you can um, put it back again. Uh, from now on, we will not have the uh, holy water in the church according to the guideline because that so we can stop the spreading of the uh, not only the virus but also any kind of germ that we pass from one person to the not, another person. So if you come into the church and you don't see the holy water because of I have and all the pastors have to follow the guideline that we cannot have holy water in the church at this time. Even all the misled, the guy that like asked everyone, uh, all the parishes to uh, put it away because so that we don't have to pass it on the virus to other people. Uh, at the Lord prayer, please, please remember, we are creatures of habit. The guy like telling us, do not hold in hand during the Lord prayer. So I ask you that when you come to uh, Mass and we say the Lord Prayer, please do not hold hand. I know it's a habit that we get into, but during this time, we ask you not to hold in hand, even though you might live with uh, the same member in your family. But I ask you for the sake of everybody's well-being, and the safety of everyone do not hold in hand. And uh, there are some of the uh, pews uh, in our church will be taped off so that we can keep a distance from one person to the next person. So if we tape off uh, the pew, please do not un untape it and then, you know, get into the pew. The reason why is the guideline and also the local government asked us to keep a distance from one person to the next person. So if we tap it off some of the uh, pew in the uh, in the church, I ask you do not untap it and then go into the pew, so that we can give, keep a distance from one person to the next person. So that uh, for your safety, that's why we do it, and I have to follow the guideline. And uh, I know that uh, when you come to Mass, you see some of familiar faces because you come to Mass all the time before. And I ask you to very limit your socializing in the church. And that's what we ask. So that for your protection and for all the people's protection. And um, I might not be able to go out and uh, in front of the uh, outside the church, and you know, to shake your hand. From now on, we cannot uh, shake one another hand at this time. And so, 
if I don't go out, it doesn't mean I'm sick, I'm healthy, and thanks God for it. But I still have to follow guidelines, and maybe not to go out during the entire summer. But as you know, I always keep you in my prayer. It's wonderful that I can be able to see your face. But at the same time, I have, I need to protect your health also and to protect all the people here also. And, um, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to call our office so I might be able to answer your question. If I don't have the answer for you, I will call the Archdiocese uh, to ask for that question and then I will return it to you. But please remember, when you come to church and the usher asks you to move a little distance from the next person, please don't be offended. Please, please don't be offended. It's your protection and it's also for other person protection. That's why we have to do and we have to comply what the uh, local government asks us to do. And we will put some of the chair down on the basement. It also the distance at least six feet from one another. So that you'll be able to sit down there also. I ask you to please observe the guideline of the Archdiocese of Denver. I will upload that uh, guideline tomorrow on our website so that you'll be able to see it. But I will also set out the guideline along with the letter that I have written uh, weekly to uh, your family and hopefully you receive by either by Friday and or Saturday evening, uh, Saturday morning, hopefully that will be before you can come to church. So please, please take time and read it. Those things strictly not come from priests, not come from the pastors or priests. It's strictly that Archbishop Aquila to the advisor, uh, to his advisor and working with local government, and we put out the guideline. I too, at the pre, at your pre, at your pastor, have to follow the guideline. There is no exception to it. So if we ask you to do something that you not familiar in the past, please observe it. Not because you are not worthy. Every one of us is worthy in God's eyes. But during this time. We need to observe the local government, but also the church authority asked us to do for your well-being, for the protection of other people, and for the protection of everybody, so we don't spread the germ to other people. Thank you for your understanding, and may God bless you and your family. Stay healthy and be safe. The coronavirus pandemic has no doubt challenged our church and our way of life in a way none of us have experienced in our lifetimes. The sacrifices we have all been asked to make, including suspending public masses, have been difficult, but we believe they were necessary to do our part to promote the common good and protect the health and safety of everyone in our communities. So as we get set to resume public masses, we would ask you to keep several things in mind as we approach this next phase. First, a general dispensation from the Sunday obligation will remain until further notice. This means if you are in an at-risk health group or if you just aren't ready for public gatherings, you should continue to stay home. And certainly, if you are sick or have recently been exposed to the coronavirus, please be considerate of others and do not come to your parish. Second, our parish staffs will make every effort to take appropriate precautions, including increased cleaning. But parishioners should understand there is an assumed risk anytime they enter a public space. Third, if you choose to attend, please know that attendance at Mass will be limited. Many of our parishes have hundreds and even thousands of parishioners. So with only a certain number of people allowed at each Mass, your opportunities to attend may be infrequent at first. And so finally, be sure to get or stay connected to your parish to learn how they will be managing this next phase. And please be patient and understanding as your pastor and parish figure out a way to fairly allow as many people as possible a chance to attend a Mass. 
There will be variations from parish to parish, so make sure you know your parish's plans. The decision to suspend public masses was an extremely difficult one, and this next phase will be challenging as well. But let's not allow what we all sacrificed to be in vain if we rush this process or look for ways to get around the regulations. Let's keep our trust in the Lord to see this through until we can gather again in full. May God bless you and your families. Dear friends in Christ, praise God the time has come for us to gradually resume public masses. Once you have decided that you and your loved ones are comfortable gathering in a public space, we would ask you to do several things when you return to your parish. First, take steps to protect yourself and others. Please wear a mask and don't touch surfaces unnecessarily. You can also consider bringing a small container of hand sanitizer or even wipes to clean the area around you. Remember, safeguarding the health and well-being of others, not just ourselves, is part of Christian charity. Second, please follow the instructions provided by your parish. This would mean cooperating with parish ushers and following other instructions that might be posted in your church. Third, help us to maintain social distancing. In your church, you can expect to, that rows will be roped off and that families and individuals will be expected to keep appropriate distance from one another. Please avoid gathering in entryways and please be mindful of other people as you come forward for communion or walk through narrow hallways or enter restrooms. And finally, please cooperate with all of the liturgical changes that we have put in place to ensure everyone's safety. These changes are temporary, but they will be familiar to you as we implemented these changes when the pandemic first started. In regards to reception of communion, we think that the safest way for everyone to do so is as follows. Please approach the minister wearing a mask and receive the host in your palm. Then step to the side, take the host in your dominant hand, remove the mask with your other hand, and then consume the Eucharist. I know we all long for the day when we can gather as a full parish family, hug our friends, and praise the Lord together. But until that time comes, let's continue to act out of love and charity towards each other and all do our part to keep our communities as safe and healthy as possible. We love the Lord and we trust in him. He will carry us through this. God bless you.